how to go about writing with with um, showing you how to be truly inspired by all the things you hear. And I know that this might seem maybe a little boring to some of you, but listen, writing is really great because with writing you can express your ideas and you can you can bug people with writing or you can make people happy, or you can persuade your parents to buy you a new Xbox or something. <laughs> you can do all kinds of stuff with writing. Um, you can write stories, you can write essays, you can write um, science fiction, you can write fantasy, different genres of fiction, all kinds of stuff to write. So today, that's what I'm going to be teaching you about. Um, I'm going to start off with a little introduction about myself. So you see some of these pictures. Um, I have an older sister named Adriana. She's um, 11 years old. I'm nine. And let's see. This is my book. And you can pass this around. You guys can look at this. Um, and so right now, I'm going to be um, showing you how you can be inspired by things like photos and pictures and paintings. So I know that all of you guys have probably seen some of those old photos in a basement or maybe paintings hung up on the wall or sort of maybe studied some art. So we're going to see how you can be inspired just by pictures. I'm going to give you an example of how I was inspired myself, my image journey, and this I just got this idea by looking at a map on the left. So today, we're going to be making a story of the pictures, but I'm going to show you what I made um, just when I looked at the map. So we can read this on the count of three together. One, two, three. She looked at the map inquisitively, and an image came into her mind. A sage of sorts bent over a sheet of fine vellum like that of the days of the Lord of Gods. A sheet like that from the days when maps were drawn by men, by sages and sepulchres. A sepulcher really means like a sort of coffin, but I use it to kind of describe some grim place. She was the sage in a robe critical to the use of the eon, layered in a film of dust like sand on a mussel shell. She wielded a pen and ink from a river of thought, thoughts so sharp that a sword of Hephaestus makes could not compare. Hephaestus was a Greek god who was supposed to be sort of he made things like he was a sort of blacksmith almost. Slowly the Mongols crept across the wrinkled velvet border. Slowly the ink filtered through, so Luxembourg and Dora lived. The blue canoe waltzed its way across the ink of blue jade lived. The pilgrims pitched across the women in the rock, and slowly the blues of Clark made their way past the fairy dogs. New lands of centuries, deserts of millenniums, names upon the set history. Spelled a spidery script. The map was spread across the table. The tables would find the insignificant the wise of jaded minds. All the lands and all the men, the maps of their minds. The map progressed like a sage's action, not so quick as thought, and quick as a sage's action. The sage turned to face a weather beaten table, marked by a day of scratches. Faces she knew could give no reason for now. 